what side effects do fertility drugs have? Um, this is a very important consideration that patients have and as part of the consultation we spend a considerable time taking patients through understanding how they may experience. Um, again referring back onto what side effects they may experience will again depend on what protocol you'll be using and what drugs you're using as part of the treatment. But broad principles, if you're using a down regulation or a long protocol, and we will be using drugs such as whether it be injections such as bucerolin or whether we use nasal spray such as nafarolin, the side effect profile is very similar. The purpose what we are trying to achieve over here is we are trying to shut down the ovaries for a short period of time so that stops the natural follicular recruitment and then we can take over the control of the cycle when we go to the stimulation phase. So the side effects that you would experience over here comes from the low estrogen levels because of these treatments. So you may experience headaches, you may experience hot flushes. Um, these are the common ones. Some patients may experience changes in mood, but majority of these symptoms are, um, are more about quality of life. They are not serious, they are not life-threatening, and they can be managed easily by maintaining good fluid intake. You can take simple analgesics such as uh, paracetamol during the downregulation phase without affecting the outcome of the treatment. When we move on to the stimulation phase, some of the side effects that you're experiencing, experiencing such as headaches and hot flushes will settle because now the estrogen levels in the body is increasing rapidly, many fold than what it naturally is there. So the hot flushes, majority of them should settle. Some of the headaches should also settle. However, what you might now see would be you may experience more mood changes and mood swings. So some patients may respond to being low mood and some may experience ease, uh, ease getting fatigued and tired easily, whereas some may might not experience any side effects at all. And as you come closer to the egg collection, you may start experiencing some dull ache in the lower part of the belly. That's nothing to do with the drugs, but that's more related to the ovaries responding to the stimulation drugs that stretches the lining of the belly and gives rise to the dull ache before the eggs are being ready for collection. Moving further on into the treatment, after the embryo trial, after the egg collection, when you start using the progesterone supplements, either as a pest-free suppository or as an injection, the progesterone in itself can give you certain side effects. Again, the majority of them is more related to low, low mood changes. Um, that's one of the commonest ones. You may be using lots of injections as part of the treatment, but the good news is that the, there are very few local injection site reactions. At most, we sometimes see is a rash, and the rash is usually self-limiting. We generally do not change uh, medications because of minor symptoms such as rash. We would certainly keep an eye on it. So these are some of the side effects you may broadly experience. Obviously, this is not an exhaustive list. It depends again on the medications. It also depends on the individual interaction of the body, uh, of your body with each of the drugs that is being used.